MaxBee TV would like to thank our partners here at MaxBee TV, uh, starting with the Colby Eye Paints. If you're in the market for a new paint job for your car, uh, check out Colby's Eye Paints on Facebook. Need a replica paint of your real life car? Colby's Eye Paints has you covered. Check out Colby Eye Paints on Facebook. Also by Hershey Design. Hershey Design Company is your one stop graphic shop. If you're in need of an eye racing paint league team or business logo or want the logo on some sweet swag, hit up Orion at the Hershey Design Company. You can find them on Facebook by searching H E R S H Y Design Company. Also by the Sim Speed Shop, simspeedshop.com. You can check them out for all your iRacing Sim needs. Ohio Indy Car League jumping on board this season with a, as an official sponsor of Max B TV. Uh, they are uh, also accepting not just patrons from Ohio, but from all over. Also, iBog for your, all your uh, iRacing broadcast overlay graphics done uh, specifically by Jason Allison, uh, one of the masters at it. So thank you to Jason. And also, last but not least, Wise Guys. You can check them out at Reverb Nation. That is spelt with a Z. So check them out on Reverb Nation. We would like to thank all of the sponsors at Max Speed TV and Partners. Welcome, race fans. We're finally back here. A brand new league starting out here tonight. USRA, uh, that's a United Sim Racing Association. And uh, they're going to be turning their first race here tonight at Daytona uh, for 75 laps. So uh, they're out here practicing right now. It's kind of a little bit behind here. We got the talking and stuff and kind of a little bit behind getting everything situated. But we got everything started. 
And uh, we're just a few minutes away from the national anthem, so sorry about it being kind of delayed there for a few minutes, but uh, we're here. And uh, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve here for, for me tonight. Uh, I'll be in the booth alone, for one, and they've got pretty much a packed house here tonight. I think it is a full field. And there's some names here that I may be struggling with a little bit, so bear with me. It's going to give me a week or two to kind of learn the guys' names and stuff. But uh, we'll be... Uh, We'll be doing our best with them. So, uh, all right, well, we're going to step away real quick here, and we'll be back right after the National Anthem, and we can talk some more. So uh, stay with us. Don't go anywhere. We take you down out of the track for our opening ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise... Please remove your hats. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home We're back, folks. And qualifying times are, have not come in yet. None yet. Uh, still waiting for everybody to do their outlap here. We'll get everything uh, underway. But, uh, yeah, they're brand new Xfinity series. Uh, they do run trucks on Tuesday nights and Xfinity's on Thursday nights. And from what I'm understanding, pretty good league. They've got a new, a lot of new recruits in here. So uh, they're kind of taking it easy here the first couple of races here see how kind of feeling out some of the new drivers that have just joined the league so uh we'll see how everything goes for them so there's a time that just come in john clements so oh, jim walton taking over the lead it's going to change a lot here michael smith a lot more times coming in now And tonight's race is sponsored by uh, AIM, uh, AIM. Let me throw that up here real quick. I wanted to make sure that I did throw that up here. Uh, the AIM e-cycling for all your electronic recycling and e-waste needs. Uh, there's our website, aimecycling.com. So we'll be showing that graphic throughout the race here tonight. So. Thanking them for sponsoring tonight's race and, uh, I guess, the season. So, very cool.
What? Josh Robin wants to join me in the booth. Well, I'm in my team speak. <laughs> if he wants to join me. Oh, there he is. Hey. A Jared Darling in here, too. That's a Owens. Uh, from what I understand, it's a pretty good league. Yeah, Spencer Owens, Jared Darling, both in the league. All right, closing just about coming to an end here. And right now, David Anderson is holding on to the pole. The 49.617, congrats to him. As uh, qualifying comes to a close here, we'll get everybody on the grid. Big grid here tonight, folks. So uh, it's going to take me a little bit to get through everybody's name, and I apologize if I butcher somebody's name. I'm, I'm sorry ahead of time. I will do my best with some of these names. I'm not familiar with them all that well. All right, starting on the, uh, the AIM our starting grid, David Anderson takes a pole with a 49.617. Congratulations to him for grabbing the pole. On the outside of the front row, in the number uh, 106, will be uh, Carl Shedd, starting in second. In third, Matt Kemp. Zach Nichols starts fourth. Jim Ott, fifth. Uh, Jeff Pogo will start sixth place. Jordan Smith, seventh. Brady uh, Briggs will start eighth. Evan Black, ninth. Jamie Leach, tenth. Uh, Joshua Shulan will start 11th, Jason Young 12th, Michael Smith 13th, Roger Murth will start uh, 14th, uh, Jim Walton 15th, Robert Duvendak will start 16th, uh, Dan Dill 17th, David Carmen 18th, Michael, wow, Laguero, Laguero, Laguari, Laguari, we're going to save with that. Uh, he'll start 19th. Eric Hawley, 20th. Uh, Skip Carmen, 21st. Jeffrey Price, 22nd. Darren Scandinair, da, 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 da. I can't pronounce that one. 23rd. Luke LaFaro will start 24th. John Clements, 25th. Wayne Carroll, 26th. Uh, Mikey Reed, starting, or Mickey, Mickey Reed, excuse me, 27th. John Furness uh, will start 28th. Spencer Owens, 29th. Jared Darling, 30th. Corey Silva will start 31st. Brandon Dorsett, 32nd. Stephen Holmes, 33rd. Tyler Dugan, 34th. Anthony Reynolds, 35th. Terry Wal or Jerry Walters, excuse me, will start 36th. Uh, Brennan Bogo will start 37th. Cody Levitt, Le Levitt I believe it is, uh, will start 38th. Jared uh, Agadorn will start 39th. Craig Hawkins, uh, 40th. Uh, Doug Ungari will start 41st. Bobby Johnson, 42nd. And um, Mike Mock is what they're telling me to call him, but it's Miroslav Mock. Uh, he will start dead last, shotgun on the field in 43rd. And that is your aim starting grid for tonight. Seventy-five laps is all they're really looking for. No stages here or anything, so only seventy-five laps. Want to take a look at the weather here before we get started, just to make sure. I don't have that up there, right? But the weather is sixty-five degree and sixty-five degree track temperature. I don't have the laps in there correctly. My bad. Sorry. I guess I was slipping a little bit tonight. I thought I was all set to go. <laughs> well, I thought it was brand new league and everything. I was trying to make sure everything else was right. I, that kind of was fell through the cracks. Yeah, big field, full field here tonight. 43 drivers, folks. All 
All right, here we go. Pace car heads for pit road. David Anderson, green is out. Good start. Matt Kemp tucks right up under the back bumper there. To get up to speed here a little bit. Uh, looks like Bobby Johnson started on pit road. Hmm, okay. Matt Kemp second. Zach Nichols already up to third. That kind of shuffled uh, Carl Shedd back to fourth. He's on the outside. Nobody seems to be working with him right now. He's going to get caught up into the, the draft here. And Matt Kemp takes over the lead. From what they're saying, this draft package is amazing. They put a put together a great draft package uh, in the new update that came out yesterday. And uh, I guess everybody's really liking it. So it, it's kind of back to the way it was before where you could actually do some drafting, which is kind of cool. All right, Roger Murth in 10th. This guy's kind of breaking away here a little bit. Back to uh, the number 99 there. And uh, David Carman on the, in the 13th. Skip Carman in 14th. That must be brothers, I'm assuming. Brothers, uh, father, son. Jeffrey Price. Some of the guys in the back kind of taking it easy right now. Everybody's not really uh, pushing their luck to get up to the front. Uh, Back here, 25th, uh, Anthony Reynolds, Spencer Owens, Jared Darling. These guys back here, Wade, Jerry Walters. Nice looking cars back here, though. Brand new leader, David Anderson, back to the front. He just led his first lap of the race. My side seems to be working pretty good right now. Pretty interesting up here. Evan Black coming from ninth already up to fifth. Up there on the high side. Checking in with him here. Ruth Cam watching these guys go around here. Boy, I'll tell you what, they're really putting it down right now. Look at the speeds they're grabbing right now. This is amazing. 194 mile an hour in the draft. That's pretty amazing. 195. 96. Wow, they're really getting some good speeds here today. Anderson. Got a lot of company up here in the front. Carl Shedd back to the outside. Running the GameStop car. Alright, Brady Briggs in eighth place right where he started some of these guys have moved up a little bit some of them have not taking it kind of easy right now don't want to get too rambunctious the long race 75 laps is a long race you might not think it is it doesn't sound like a lot of laps but believe me it is when you're out there turning laps like this you gotta you're gonna have to make uh, one pit stop I do believe they'll get I think they can make it a one pit stop Michael Smith into the 10th position. Picking up three positions since the start of the race. Let's go back, clear back at the back of the field here. Eric Hawley, uh, wow, what the heck? He's he's went from 20th to 43rd. What's going on there, Eric? <laughs> Whoa, that's not good. All right. Still in the lead, David Anderson just led his fourth lap of the race. Looks pretty comfortable up here right now. And they are picking them up and putting them down, folks. Let me tell you. Carl Shedd still hanging on that outside, wants to get up there. Evan Black moving forward yet again up the fourth. And he comes up behind Carl Shedd there trying to give him a little push. 
Working good. Zach Nichols, fifth place for him. He loses one position. He's uh, tucked in underneath there on the, on the bottom line. He's tucked right in behind Matt Kemp right now. And it doesn't seem like anybody on that bottom is looking to maybe do any passing at the moment. Everybody seems to be pretty content. Corey Silva in 11. I know Corey real well. Good friend of mine. The, a fellow broadcaster, I should say. Jim Walton. little bit of passing going on there somebody's uh oh somebody's going backwards really quick here i'm uh, trying to catch up with a michael lagora lagori lagori i believe going backwards real quick somebody way down on the bottom luke lafaro takes it below the yellow line holy smokes oh oreos oh who doesn't like oreos huh and Davidson, David Anderson leads yet again, coming to the line pretty close, but he does uh, lead that lap. Carl Shed on the outside. You can see just how close these guys are riding right now. Everybody's trying to get that side draft down on the bottom there. Get right down about as close as they can to that driver uh, down on the on the inside and get that side draft and it's working right now. Carl Shed a little bit ahead of uh, David Anderson there, but they get it sorted out. And we got uh, yeah some we got some pretty nice looking cars out here tonight. I'm telling you, Shed great lead and he does lead that lap. Congratulations to him for grabbing his first lap lead. No, that's the second lap lead. Excuse me. Evan Black is pushing the daylights out of that car right now. Shed going to take it to the bottom, though. He's going to dump off his, uh, the guy that got him there, Evan Black. Evan Black now looking to take the lead. Getting uh, pushed there by number two of uh, Jamie Leach. I, think I know Jamie. I'm from another league or something, somewhere. Some of these guys I know, some of them I don't know. It's always good that you know who you're broadcasting with, you know. Uh, Roger Murth, Matt Kemp, these guys side by side. Roger Murth picking up a lot of positions. Holy smokes, look at this. Up to sixth place after starting 14. Very good, very good. Jim Ott, ninth place. He's kind of drifted back from fifth. Going along here with Matt Kemp for a minute and watch, just watch how close these guys are to one another uh, in the corners here, trying to get down there, get that little bit of side draft. Looking good, looking good. These guys are running really well here. We've been caution free for 12 laps, folks. Or 11, excuse me. So that's really good. We like to hear that. Carl Shedd, still in the lead. Let's go back and check on the Carmen guys back here. We got David and Skip back here, still working together. Kind of running nose to tail there. Uh, Spencer Owens up to 20th after starting 29th, so he's picked up a few positions. Jared Darling up to 21st from 30th. Now John Clements uh, only picked up three positions. But away back to Jason Young. There's a big separation there between the, the front pack and these guys back here. But they're kind of in that safe zone. Uh, they're running about four seconds behind that uh, front pack, and that's a good safe zone. But here comes a full head of steam. Look at these guys powering by on the outside. 
Jerry Walters bringing them. Wow, look at that move. They just powered right around Jason Young. Nice racing, guys. Very nice racing. Lots of respect going on out there. Evan Black has led one lap. That makes two. Looking to try to get a win here tonight, I'm sure. Outside and inside rows, still side by side since the drop of the green flag up here in the front. Nobody wants to give a square inch of real estate to one another. Can't say that I blame them. Wayne Carroll. Wow, look at this. Started 26th and he's up to 9th, folks. That's got to be the biggest mover out there right now. Holy smokes. That's a lot of positions out there. He picked up 15, 16 positions. Dang. That's awesome. Brady Briggs. Evan Black Carl Shedd still going at it up here in the front. Evan's loving life right now. He's up here battling with the leader and uh, leading laps. That's what it's all about. Try to lead the most laps here tonight to get the most bonus points you can possibly get. The 76, where is the 76? Uh, Jim Walton, he's running in 12th right now. Yeah, Brady Briggs. I'm, I'm trying to follow the chat there, see what you guys, you know, some of your favorite drivers. Uh-oh, what happened to Brady? He's blinking. I can't say on him if he's blinking. You're using too much Wi-Fi. <laughs> Kidding you. Carl Shedd back to the lead. I'll tell you, these, these cars have quickly become my favorite car, uh, kind of like my go-to car. They're fun to drive, they're easy to drive, and they're very fast out there on the track. So, you know, they're, they're not quite as fast as the Gen 6, but uh, pretty comparable, though. Uh, Carmen, the Carmen guys are back here. David? And Skip, are they related? Can you can you tell me if they're related? Slacker boy? I know who Slacker boy is. <laughs> I'll tell you what, looking good so far. Knock on wood. I don't want to jinx these boys because boy, they're really really running strong right now. Uh, Mickey Reed. Up to 18th from 27th, so he's picked up nine positions since the start of the race. Here, Darling picking up another one there, goes into 19th, coming from 30th. Some guys back here uh, now, Michael. Uh oh, uh oh, who's back going backwards? Somebody going backwards here, Jason Young. Going backwards, got squeezed out or something there. He started 12th and he was running up in the front. Now he's going to the back. Dang. Oh, we don't like to see that. If you lose that draft, you're uh, pretty much uh, out of it. You know, you just gotta. All you can do is pray for a caution then. Most racing back here in the back, though, uh, Dan Dill, this, this group has gotten a lot bigger now. Uh, led by Jordan Smith. These guys run in 11 seconds. Uh, actually, <laughs> 38 seconds behind the leader. So they're three quarters of a lap, more than three quarters of a lap behind the leader right now. Actually, I bet you if they looked in the rearview mirror, they'd probably see the leader coming up behind them. They're all the way back to uh, Jeff Pogo. Jeff Pogo goes from six to dead last on the field. I don't know if we can get a, let's see if we can get a, uh, uh, a look back and see if that lead pack is closing because they're only about, yeah, they're just now coming out of the turn. So they're closing on them. They're about eight seconds behind these guys. Wow. They are clicking the time off right there. Evan Black in control of this. 
him and Carl Shedd. They've been uh, the front two runners up here. Leading the rest of this uh, front pack around. Well, my guess, uh, I'm just taking a just an educated guess that they're probably going to, you're probably going to see guys come down pit road uh, between lap 35 and 45, somewhere along in there. Now, you may see some guys take tires, you may see some take two, and you may see some take none, you, you know, you, or four, you know, it just uh, depends on what, uh, what kind of strategy they want to play. No tires will get you out of there quicker. Just you know, drop in fuel. The thing of it is, is if you're going to take tires, or if you're going to take a full tank of fuel, you might as well take at least two tires. You know, it's just about almost the same amount of time, so it's not going to cost you any more time. Dave Anderson, hanging on here. He led uh, six laps, and now he gets shuffled back into the third place. One that's uh, really been trying to get up there and lead a lap is uh, Jamie Leach. He's been hanging right with Evan Black there for quite some time. Those two may be working together. Having a partner here is a pretty much a must situation. Having somebody to to uh, draft with. You, you, know, you don't want to be out here without drafting with somebody. I'm telling you. Well, Jordan Smith gets shuffled to the back, and these guys are losing a lot of ground to them leaders. They're coming up on them pretty quick. And yeah, they're just, uh, wow. Uh, like a third of a uh, straightaway behind them. Take a look ahead here and see if we can see them up there. Yeah, you can see them up there in the near. They're not that far up ahead of them, anyhow. Yeah, <laughs> less than a half a straightaway. So they're just uh, just up ahead of them. All right, let's ride along here with uh, Jim Walton. He's down on the bottom. Uh, Corey Silva just got shuffled back a little bit there. He's kind of losing the draft of that front group. Needs somebody behind him, giving him a little shove. Oh, wow, somebody down below the wild line there, Wayne Carroll. There we go, we may get some help. Uh, Michael Smith pulls up behind Corey Silva now. Very good. They need they needs all the help he can get there to get back up to that front group. You don't want to lose the draft to that front group. And they're closing in more on the tail end of the field there as we speak, folks. They're just ahead of them. How are they going to maneuver around them? We're going to see some three wide here coming up in just a minute. Because they're going to probably power right around them. And if everybody can get by safely... Some of the guys are already trying to make, uh, they're, they're making way here to get single files so they can clear them without having to go three wide. But we got three racers up on the high side right now in this front group that they're not going to give way to that too awful much. So hopefully everybody gives way to it and clears safely. We don't want to see anybody wrecked out. We've been caution free for 24 laps now. We don't want to see that happen. And this is only going to help them too, because they're, you know, they're catching up to the rear of the field. They're going to be using that draft. They're going to suck up on the back of them even faster. You'll see some speeds here. They're going to be approaching 200 mile an hour real quick here. Probably uh, by the by the time we get down to the end of the straightaway here, yeah, they're almost at 200 now. They're 198, 198. There by Carl Shedd, and he just enough draft there. He's pulling off of. Uh, uh, Jordan Smith right now you can see oh and here they come some of them coming to pit road oh I think they were running a shortened fuel load yes I forgot about that uh, my bad yeah I forgot about that all right pit stops underway Evan Black stays out and now he's got to deal with all these lap cars We've got uh, lead lap cars and lap cars all uh, kind of right in together here. But Evan Black is the leader. Jim Ott, Matt Kemp, side by side. 
and it's helping them, but we're probably going to see some of these guys peel off and come to pit road, too. We've got uh, 12 drivers right now. Yeah, here they come. we got 12 drivers that are coming to pit road. We'll stay on Evan Black here. Ooh, close calls there by a couple. Some guys coming in, some guys coming out. First round of pit stop. So they're going to have to make another pit stop yet. Okay. I forgot about the shortened fuel load. How did I forget that? Sorry. Can't be on top of everything. <laughs> well, Jim Ott stays out. Uh, Jim Ott stays out. Whoa. And he's, uh, yeah, he's coming off. He's coming to pit road now. He's the only one that has not pitted yet. Only one. Well, so far, that's give the lead up to Zach Nichols. He's just uh, coming off pit road here, getting up to speed. Him and Corey Silva. Those two uh, working together, looks like. you got to have a partner. Like I said, when you come to pit road, you got to come in together. Matt Kemp. Evan Black back here. And, boy, they're getting passed up by a whole round of them here, folks. Brady Briggs bringing the whole crew. Brady goes into fourth. And he's not done yet because they're still passing. We're going to get by Corey Silva. Now, Jim Ott just coming off pit road. He's not up to speed yet. These guys come around here with a full head of steam. They think it'll be long here. Brady Briggs is going to be our leader and I think I from what I can see here uh, pretty much everybody did a two tire change we got a couple of four tire changes in there mixed in but for the most part everybody did a two tire change but they changed right sides next time they probably change left sides to finish out the race Everybody still there? I don't see anybody chatting in chat anymore. Everybody got kind of quiet there. <laughs> David Anderson second. Passing up some more cars here. Uh, going by, that is the number... 12, that is Robert Dubendak. So he will go a lap down. We've got several uh, lap down. Eric Hawley, uh, Dan Dill, uh, Joshua Shulin, Jeff Pogo, Jordan Smith now going a lap down. Boy, I'll tell you, these guys, some of these guys really showed a lot of uh, strength in their pit strategy trying different things so maybe you didn't have a good pit stop some might have waited a little bit too long to make their pit stop well, again folks I wanted to thank tonight's sponsor there uh, AIM E-Cycling. For all your electronic recycling and e-waste needs, check them out. There's their website, aimecycling.com. Check them out, folks. That is the sponsor for tonight's race. And we've got a lot of cars up here. Evan Black trying to make it back to the front. Led seven laps earlier, but kind of caught in a... A lot of mired into a lot of cars right now. Corey Silva in there. Uh, Carl Shedd. Uh, Carl's led 11 laps, but uh, getting back to the front to retake that lead. When you're too wide like this, you really, you got to kind of just play it by ear and see how things are going to go here. But man, good race so far. Catching up to more lap traffic. Right now 
we've got uh, 31 cars on the lead lap out of the 43 that started, and everybody's still in it. There ain't not one driver out of the race yet. Caution free the whole way. Got about we're about five laps away from the halfway mark. See just how close Zach Nichols is there right on the bumper of Brady Briggs. Very, very close. You gotta stay close there to, to hang on to that draft. If he even uh, burps that throttle, uh, the guys behind him are going to power right by, especially that high side. Uh-oh, somebody blinking, somebody blinking. Brady Briggs blinking a little bit there. Deb, are you uh, Brady's wife? Are you his wife or mom or... Some guys, you know, they race for their mom, you know? Anthony Reynolds. Coming from 35th up to 10th. That's a lot of positions to pick up. Very good. Spencer Owens, uh, Jared Darling, Wayne Carroll, those three working together here. But they're working in behind them. Um, looks like it led, uh, was that led by uh, Jimmy Leach? Yeah. Oh, we got a caution! First caution of the race, and it's up front here, folks. We got a bunch of them. Uh, looks like Jim Walton, if I can catch up with him here, was involved. So let's go back and take a look at this. Oh man, that's a bummer. I, I hate to see that. Let's go back and take a look. First caution of the day. Uh, looks like some might have been doing a little bump in here. It looks like somebody tried to go three wide. Yes, that's exactly what happened. A couple of cars got together, caught Jim Walton. And, uh, yeah, a couple of them are going to go into the wall. Walton actually got back on his wheels. That was kind of surprising. Yeah, he actually got back on his wheels. And I guess a, enough cars hit him, <laughs> they flipped him back over. So that's a good deal. That's what you want. You want to get back on your wheels so you don't have to tow to pit road. You got to tow to pit road, it's a, a couple of minute tow. So. All right, well, first caution of the race out, folks. We'll get back up here live. Brady Briggs. Now, I'm not sure how many of these guys are going to come to pit road, but we'll see here in just a minute because uh, it could throw off their pit strategies. You know, Some guys may want to come in and pop off the fuel tank and uh, change four tires. Yeah, see, Brady's not going to. A lot of these guys aren't going to. They're going to stay on that 25-lap strategy. They don't want to come in until around lap 50. But some guys are. Pit road is uh, pretty busy out there. See some guys coming in. But a few of them on pit road back there. Some guys with some damage. Some guys, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. They're 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 eventually all coming out of there though. Brady Briggs keeps blinking on me. I can't stay on him. So we'll stay on Zach Nichols here. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mama Briggs. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, hopefully Jim can get that car fixed up. He's got a lot of damage on it, and I don't think they have any resets here tonight, so 
hopefully they can get it fixed up enough to uh, get him back out there on the track and he doesn't lose a lot of uh, time or uh, well, no, we got one retiree John Clements takes it behind the wall first retiree of the night and look here and see where is Walton Where the heck is he? Huh. Well, I didn't I didn't get an interview in there. I wanted to get an interview in. Okay, Walton's still on the track. Okay, so they must have had resets. Okay, they must have had one reset. Yep. So he's reset. He's back in 21st now. Good deal. Good deal. That's what we like. I'm always a big fan of one reset. You know, you need one gimme out there. He was an innocent victim in it. I mean, he didn't even know it was coming. You know, <laughs> he, he got hit from behind. So that's a, a good gimme there for Jim Walton. He'll make that up. Yeah, I didn't get an interview in, but we'll try to get somebody in on the next one. If there is a next one. Well, thanks again to uh, the sponsor here for tonight, uh, AME Cycling. For all your electronic recycling and e-waste needs, check out aimecycling.com. That is the sponsor for this league and for tonight's race. Ah, Brady, quit blinking. He needs to quit blinking. He can't stay on him if he's blinking like that. All right, starting on the outside is going to be Zach Nichols, Matt Kemp, David Anderson, Spencer Owens, Jared Darling, Skip Carmen, David Carmen, uh, Mickey Reed, and Carl Shedd. That's your top ten as they get ready to go back green here. The pace cars in, and there's a the green. We're back underway. Brady Briggs still in the lead. David Anderson second. And uh, you can see that drafter on the bottom there was Zach Nichols trying to get something working on the high side. Matt Kemp's the only one up there with him. Everybody behind him is kind of single file. So we get back a little ways here. It looks like Carl Shedd's trying to get something working on the high side. Him and Jim Ott, they're working together along with uh, Roger Murphy. All right, good racing, good racing. Corey Silva finds himself back in 13th now. He'll make up, but coming from 31st, that's pretty amazing driving right there. Pretty amazing. Uh, Anthony Reynolds, another one from the back of the field to the front from 35th to 14th, folks. Probably the biggest mover out there right now. That's 21 position. Golly, that's a lot. Car looks nice, too. I like that. All right, back up front, Zach Nichols to the high side. Close racing for him and Brady Briggs. Let's see who's going to lead this lap. Right now, it's Zach Nichols by a half a car length, and he does lead that lap. That's his first lap of the race, folks. Nice job. Now that Jim Walton's uh, reused that reset, he's back in it here in 20th position. Going to be working his way back up to the front. Took him forever to get to the front, and now he finds himself back in 20th. Cars weaving around a little bit there. We got some lap cars in, in with these guys. Uh, Robert Dubinac, Dubindac, excuse me, uh, is a lap down, first car lap down here. So Michael Smith, now he is just ahead of the leaders. He's about to go a lap down as the leaders come up on him. And they're going to have to go three wide to get around him. Oh, my gosh. This could be this could be rough. He's going to hang on to it, though. Everybody gets by safely. Good job. Good driving by everybody on that. I know sometimes it, it looks like there's a lot of room there, folks. But let me tell you, 
when you're out there doing 200 mile an hour, it doesn't look like a lot of room. <laughs> Trust me on that one. Oh, he's blinking because he's using the Allegiant. <laughs> okay. Okay, gotcha. Well, yeah, you can race harder, but, you know, you still got to race smart because once you use that reset, now nah, he's done for the night. You know, I mean, if he gets involved in another wreck, oh, there goes another lap car going a lap down. Uh, but if you get in another wreck, you're done for the night, man. It, he would not be so lucky the second time. What the heck happened there? But... Zach Nichols still on the outside. Matt Kemp hanging right there with him. David Anderson. Spencer Owens up into the mix. Him and Jared Darling. Now these guys will have to pit around lap 50... 50 to 55, right along in there, they'll have to stop. Oh, we got a caution. Let me see if I can find it here, folks. No, I'm uh, not sure. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, Bobby Johnson going around, but I think I don't think it was him that got involved in that. I think it was a couple other cars here. So let's go back and check this out. Caution number two on the track. Could have been some uh, side draft or something here. Corey Levitt involved in that. Oh, here they go. They're going to go three wide around somebody. Oh, and it started up in front of them. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Jordan Smith. Oh, didn't see that. No, it wasn't Jordan. Well, he was involved in it, but uh, it was uh, one right ahead of him there. Bobby Johnson. Yeah, that's who I thought it was. Looks like he got a bump there from the number 25 going into the corner. And that's not a place where you want to bump. So Bobby Johnson going to get spun around. And uh, he will get damage on that car. A few other guys going to get involved in it. No place to go. Couldn't avoid it. That's the trouble with it. There's just no place to go to get away from it, guys. It's just uh, you're doing 200 mile an hour, and it, and it happens right in front of you. You can't escape it. So, but everybody's good. Everybody's good. All right. So he'll come to pit road, get a new car. Meantime, Zach Nichols is our leader. This is caution number two. And we've got 32 to go, 31 to go at the line here. We've had 16 lead changes. That's pretty amazing for Daytona. That kind of shows you just how much his draft package has really been put together. So, Well, they're coming in here because they can make it from here, I think. Ooh, boy. I don't know. I don't know if they can make it from here. Uh, it could be interesting. I don't know if they can make it from here going to be 30. I don't know if they can make it 30 laps or not. I don't think so. I really do not think they can. All right, Zach Nichols out first. Like popped off the fuel tank and did no tire changes. I don't I don't believe he changed any tires. So, well, let's see if we can get somebody in here to talk to um how about let's talk to Bobby Johnson, if I can find him. Uh, he was involved in that wreck. Uh, Bobby Johnson, you got a copy? Oh, yeah. Talk to me. Well, Bobby, you were caught up in that wreck. Uh, I know it came, you know, it kind of came right up behind you like that. It looked like a bumper hook or a little bit of an uneven match there of the uh, front of, I uh, can't remember whose car that was, but to the back of your car. Anyhow, uh, were you a little surprised when that happened? Uh, yeah, I was extremely surprised why that happened, if you want a truth, know the truth, because we're in a pack, and uh, this individual thought he was going to go three wide and go somewhere. Well, apparently he can see better than I can, because there was nowhere to go. Okay. Hey, patience, buddy. Yeah. Patience is a virtue in this, and there's a lot of guys True. that don't have patience. Well, uh, 
What's the racing been like out there? Now, you guys got cool temperatures, cool air temperature and track temperature tonight. What's the been racing been like out there? Is there is there the car with the new draft package? Can you pass? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe it's just me, but you can tell when somebody is right up on, on the back end of you, it almost feels like it lifts your car up. You get really light. You get really loose. Also, really? you can only Ooh. run about four or five laps before your temperatures start going sky high, even though it's cool out here today. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I think everybody's kind of playing around with this uh, little package deal. It, it's loose. I can't lie to you. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, hopefully you get back up there. It looks like you're going to be restarting back in about 37th. Uh, can we see you get back up to the front? Oh, I'm going to get up to the front. Whether or not I can get my lap back is a different story. Can you make it from here, rest of the way on fuel? Well, let's just say I'm going to have to feather it a little bit, and we'll see. Okay, it's going to be kind of close. Okay, that's what I kind of <laughs> figured. I figured it was going to be kind of close. What are you guys running, like 50% fuel or something, are you? I think it's what it is. I can't remember. 40, I or, 50, so. 40 or 50%. Like, yeah, I, can't, I forgot all about it at the start of the race. All right, well, good luck out there, Bobby. We'll let you get back at it. Well, hey, I appreciate it. Uh, save a, a popsicle for me, will you, when I get all, in there? All right. All right, I'll do it. All right, later. <laughs> all right good luck. All right. So our leader, Zach Nichols, getting ready to bring him to the green here again. Lights are out. Going back green flag racing, folks. Going to have about 29 to go at the at the green and they're gonna have to stop i i really don't think that anybody can make it out here the rest of the way it's going to be really really close but we may see some guys maybe dip in early try to just get a splash of gas or something here we go pace cars in green flag, green flag. and there's the green we're back underway i'll tell you what this is a pretty awesome uh Xfinity series. I really like this series. It's, uh, I, I like the full field. Well, we've lost a few drivers out of here. Four of them now. Uh, John Clements, uh, Mike Mock, Jeffrey Price, and Court Cody Levitt out of the race. Everybody else is still in it. David Anderson trying to get back to the front. Led the first six laps, and then after that, everybody else has been up there bidding for that top spot. And Matt Kemp drops it down inside. He's only led one lap today. That leaves Brady Briggs up on the high side, working with Carl Shedd. Them guys up there on the high side. If they could get something working up there. Too wide like this is what you pretty much got to do here. Now these cars do draft well. I think everybody's... Uh, I don't think they can. They were pitting on uh, the 25, and I think the most I've seen anybody go is about 26 or maybe 27 lap. I don't think they can go 29. I don't think they can make 29. I, I, we'll see. You would know better than me. You were out there racing. <laughs> Sorry about you having bad luck there, brother. All right, let's go back here and check on Anthony Reynolds. Anthony coming from 35th. And he's still plugging away here, 15th, chopping the field in more than half. Jim Walton, we were concerned about him. He was in that very first caution, and he finds himself back into 17. Not out of it by any means yet. You know, this is a it's the thing with super speedway racing. Uh, it's anybody's game out here. You just never know who's going to win it. It's just a, a shooting match. Yeah, sorry about that, Jeffrey. Yeah, come back next week and give them, give them the Dickens, man. You can do it. I know you can. Matt Kemp back to the lead. Then him and Brady Briggs up here on the front row. Down the back stretch. 
Well, folks, we do have a crank it up here, so let me crank it up for a little bit. What do you think? Let's do this. Oh, just as I say that, we got a caution. Oh, my gosh, we got a caution. Can you believe it? That was, uh, let's see if I can figure out who that was. I think that was Anthony Reynolds. Yes, let's go back and take a look at this, folks. Anthony Reynolds getting turned. Just as I put it on Crank It Up. You know, it never seems to fail that way. <laughs> Just saying. And I'm not sure if it was a bumper. Oh, he checked up a little bit and got rear-ended by Jim Walton. Oh, and then the 7 comes along and hits him. That was Doug... Um, Angari, uh, he got into it as well. So a couple of drivers, uh, heavy heart, heavy hits right there. A lot of damage on their card. Okay, we're back up live here. And uh, Matt Kemp still hanging on to the lead. Started third today. Kind of drifted back a little bit. He stayed inside the top ten. But uh, finds himself in the lead here. Now, how many guys do we think we're going to see come to pit road? I think we're going to see a few of them come down pit road and just top off them tanks. They may not now because of the caution. The caution will give them enough fuel to make it the rest of the way. So but we might see uh, some guys maybe running a little low on fuel. Never know. Got a couple guys that come down. Let me check in here with pit road. Yeah, we got a few guys that are coming in here back part of the field just to make sure that uh, they do have enough and that, I think that's a good call, you know, just why, why, why push your luck and, and try to make sure that you do have enough when now you know you got enough, uh, you know, pretty much guaranteed. So, all right, Matt Kemp, Brady Briggs, Zach Nichols, Carl Shedd, Jim Ott, those are your top five, Spencer Owens. Uh, John Furness, Jared Darling, Corey Silva, and David Carmen, your top ten. Yeah, some drivers have pictures, some don't. Uh, I'm sure probably after tonight's race, next week we'll probably see more drivers uh, sending in pictures to get them put in. So uh, we do have a few here. This is actually the first league that I've had uh, that's asked to have their pictures taken, uh, pictures up on there. Because, you know, everybody else really didn't care too much about it or, or you know, I don't know. They really didn't. I guess they didn't, didn't care about it. And that's fine. That's your own preference. However you decide you want to do it, you know. Some leagues like to have it. Others don't. I think it's kind of cool. It can be a pain, though. Let me let me add that. It can be a pain. <laughs> well, first uh, race of the season here, folks. And again, I'd like to uh, give a thank you to the tonight sponsor, uh, uh, Aim E-Cycling for all your electronic recycling and e-waste needs. Check them out there. Check out their website at e aimecycling.com. Sponsor for the league and tonight's race, folks. All right, looks like we're getting ready to go back green here, I do believe. Yep, lights are out. We're going green next time. Bye. And again, I didn't get an interview in. I'm too busy running my pie hole here. I promise next caution, if there's another one, I will get an interview in. Uh, you can 
uh, message me. Uh, go to the website, maxbtv.com. There is a contact information there. Plug that in and, e and it'll send me an email. And uh, I'd rather contact you that way than on here. Uh, it depends on what you're wanting done. Dirt, asphalt, what car, how many laps. It depends a lot on it. All right, we're back underway. But believe me, we're probably the cheapest out there. Uh, of all the broadcasters, we're, we're about the cheapest. Uh, one of the highest quality, but uh, the cheapest. You might find somebody cheaper, but. All right, Carl Shedd, back in it. He's up there and led 11 laps earlier. He is working over the back bumper there of Brady Briggs. I mean, he is sawing on that bumper, ain't he? And that's something you don't want to do too awful much. You don't want to get the sawing back and forth and catch that bumper because you will hook them. And that's where the driver right behind, like Carl's doing right here, you got to be extra careful. That does not happen. Uh, a good piece of advice that a driver told me is don't push in the corner, but push on the straightaway. gives you a little time to get lined up with somebody and you can give him a little push say so he, he just does right there a little bump draft right there just a slight enough bump that gives him a just enough of a push out ahead that Brady Briggs eh, he's got just a fender maybe there on uh, Matt Kemp right now very good racing between them guys though uh, John Furness up to 8 that's a certain 28 this is uh, pretty awesome stuff. Well, thank you, Jeffrey. Appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for the kind word. Uh, Brennan Bogo. Started 37th, another big mover. Puts himself into the top ten. But we're seeing, starting to see some of the guys that were in the back starting to move their way to the front now. And I think pit stops are done. We're down to 19 to go this time by. Pit stops are done. Everybody's made their final pit stops. They've got enough fuel to make it here with them cautions. That's helped a lot right there because they were... They were going to be, a couple of them were going to be a couple of laps short on fuel. And now they don't have to worry about that. Now Roger Murph checking in with him here. He's back into it, back in 11th. What I was kind of concerned about was uh, Bobby Johnson now with that damage he's got. He's got it fixed up, but he is a lap down now. Craig Hawkins, 37th, all by himself. Oh, that's not good. Um, where is... Wow, where is he? Where is he? Evan Black. He is back in 23rd now. After leading seven laps and was a contender in the front part. Ouch. That's going to be tough to come back from. He's going to have to really hope something happens up in that front and close that gap up. He needs a lot of help there from Anthony Reynolds right now. They could use a couple of cards behind them. Uh, Luke LaFaro, there he is, 18th at the start 24th. And he was way back there off the pace. Got himself into uh, the into the 18th position now in the Oreos car. Very good. And these guys are all nose to tail. This front part of the field is really showing some muscle now. Brady Briggs still blinking a little bit. Guys kind of weave around some lap traffic there. Somebody on the back stretch uh, going slow. I do not know who that is. I don't know who that was. Unless that was uh, Doug. No, couldn't have been. I don't know who it was. 
I don't see anybody that's slow. Wow. Yes, sir. Good racing. This is really good stuff. Uh, watching Carl Shedd for some reason got shuffled to the outside going backwards. Looking uh, Spencer Owens in the... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Be careful back there, gentlemen! Be careful! Carl Shedd is going back more. He got bumped around a little bit. And uh, back up front here. Matt Kemp, Zach Nichols, Jim Ott, Brady Briggs. Jim Ott come up in front of Brady Briggs now. To try something a little different. Ooh, close call right there. That was really close. He got really close to that. Yeah, Jim Ott is on the outside. You're trying to get down there and get some side draft and get that run. And he got enough of a run now if he can stay up ahead of him and get that clear spot to come down in front of Matt Kemp, but it's not going to happen. That bottom comes back. The bottom's always faster in the turns uh, than on the straightaways. You'll see the upper line power on by. Hot Kemp up in the front. Putting on a heck of a show up here. John Furness now moves into six after starting 28. Thirteen to go, folks. Thirteen more laps around Daytona. Quite a gap uh, back here looking way back through the field. Uh, some of these guys, Jerry Waller, okay, that's not them. Um, Mickey Reed and then we got a whole nother group way back here uh, Jared Hagerdorn uh, Joshua uh, Shulin Michael Smith Brandon Dorsett we haven't talked about Brandon yet today but boy he's been uh, hanging in there started 32nd but only picking up four positions Dan Bill another one Started 17th, but it's fallen to 29th. All right, we're going to try to stay on the front part of this race here, folks, for the rest of it, because this is where it's going to get exciting. Well, thank you there, Ken Pryor. Appreciate that. Well, folks, if it's your first time here on Max BTV, make sure you do hit that uh, subscribe button. We'd appreciate that. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up on the video. That would be much appreciated as well. You can check out our website at maxbtv.com for our full race schedule that we do broadcast pretty much almost every night of the week. We are live here. Uh, when you do subscribe, make sure you click that little bell there so you get a notification when we do go live. So, Oh, we got a couple off the track and no caution. Holy smokes, you got to be kidding me. I don't even know if I could catch up to who that was. The There's the yellow. That was, looks like Roger Mirth. Let's go back and see this here and see what happened to these guys. That was kind of uh, sudden. They took a ride out across the grass on the front stretch. Now this is right about here's where it happened. Right there, it went high, and they're going to go full wide. Oh, no, that never works out. Well, that caught him and the 94 there of Corey Silva, and Corey hits the inside wall really hard, and so did Roger Murth. So both of those guys, wow. 
Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Well, hopefully they've got a reset left. Now, here's the thing. It's going to catch the whole field back up together again. And those guys get a chance to go to pit road and get a new car. Uh, man, I'm telling you. Well, uh, let's see if we can get a word in. Uh, I'm not sure if Corey... Where is Corey if he's in here? Let's see if he's in here. Yeah, there he is. Corey Silva, you got a copy. Yeah, I got you. Oh wow, innocent victim in that mess, brother. Uh, you're gonna, you have a reset left. Yes, I do. Whew, good thing, huh? Man, I'm telling you, that was one heck of a ride across the grass there. Yeah, I mean, we were two by two the whole race. I knew it was gonna be open it up for three wide any time and as tight as Daytona is I knew uh, it was going to be sketchy but uh, I mean we'll see what happens we'll be 20th or so try to get back in the top 10 if we're lucky well uh, what's the car feeling like out there we've been getting reports from guys saying that uh, when you're in the draft it feels like the back end's really light on the car are you experiencing that uh, I really haven't had uh, anything too much in the way of handling issues it's just kind of been you know stuck in line the whole race so uh yeah i haven't had anything on anything on that loans before so okay okay well we were just talking to a driver earlier and he said that it felt like the back end of the car was really loose you know uh, when somebody was right up behind you and it was like they were taking the air off of your car or something but uh what do you think of the new uh draft package that they put out yesterday Yes, I think the Xfinity car it didn't stay, it didn't change too much, but it's always raced really good. So yeah. you can pretty much do anything you want to do, get any kind of runs, which, which is why we're all kind of taking it easy and going two by two. But now it's coming to the end, so we got to make more it. moves and uh, hopefully we don't get wrecked again. I know it. Well, you're coming from 27th, brother, so that's a that's a lot to go through in here, and you're only going to have maybe like seven laps to go when you get the green. So. We're going to let you go, and good luck out there, man. You're going to need it. Thanks, Rudy. Yes, sir. All right, Corey Silva going to be restarting in 27th position here, folks. We'll see how he can do. Now, nobody uh, nobody up in the front part of the field has come in. Uh, pit stops are out of the equation. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, somebody wanted me to talk to Jim Walton. Uh, yeah, thank you, Deb. Appreciate that. Cody? Uh, good to see everybody in there. Uh, let me see if I can get Jim Walton up here. Yeah, there he is. Hey, Jim Walton, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Well, Jim, you got involved in that wreck earlier. Thankfully, you had a, a reset. Now, you're still mired back into 17th. You had a close call on that last one. Tell me about the racing out there. What's it like? Yeah, there's a lot of people that are not working with each other, working against each other, and, and because of that, neither line can get in front of the other, so we just get kind of bottled up, and in those scenarios, all you can do is sit there and wait. The True, true. Well, you, but you can't wait now. I mean, you're down to the closing lap, so there's no waiting now. So now what happens? Everybody's going to be really super aggressive. Oh yeah, my buddy Dave's up in front of me there, so I'm gonna see if I can get around this 20 car and get up there and push him to the front. All right, well you got some fans in chat rooting for you there, Jim. So good luck out there, we'll wish you the best. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir. All right, Jim Walton, gonna be restarting a lot further back in the field than he really wants to. All right, well, Matt Kemp. I would say we're probably going to have, what are we going to have, seven to go when they get the green, I guess? Seven to go, yeah. All right, lights are out on the pace car. We know what that means. We're going green this time by, folks. Well, we'll be here next Thursday, uh, so make sure you tune in next Thursday. I am not. I can't remember. I didn't look at the schedule to see what's, uh, what's on agenda for next week i think it's auto club don't hold me to that but i think they go to from the two and a half mile track here at daytona to the two mile track of auto club so but i'm i think that's where they go to next week all right here we go pace cars in this could be the final restart green is up now we're going to see some three wide racing boys 
already getting pretty pushy here. Spencer Owens comes right up on the back of, i uh, seen him right on the back there of uh, Brady Briggs. But giving himself room. Cars look a little wiggly out there. Some guy's trying to get down there, get a little side draft up in the front. Matt Kemp, Zach Nichols still going at it. John Furness, there's the guy that come from 28th. And look at this, he has slowly picked his way up to the front. And they're going to come down in front of them together. And boy, we haven't seen that in forever. Where two of them could actually clear and do that. That's pretty awesome. Way to get the lead, Zach Nichols. John Furness would like to lead a lap now and get them bonus points. I love that car is. That's the old, uh, uh, yeah, Davy Allison paint job there. Haviland like that throwback paint scheme that's awesome Jim Mott fifth place Brady Briggs sixth uh, Brennan Bogo now all the way up to seventh look at this folks picking up 30 positions today finds himself into seventh place unbelievable Carroll, right behind Spencer Owens, uh, David Carmen in the Nestle's Quick car. Who doesn't like Nestle's Quick, right? <laughs> Gary Walters and uh, David Anderson here going at it. Jordan Smith. Jordan was pretty much out of it there. As a matter of fact, I think he was even a lap down at one point. Got his lap back, running back into the top 12. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Very good. David Anderson may be losing that position. Uh, Luke LaFaro. Still hanging on to a top 15 finish. Robert Duvendat. And this is the one I have trouble pronouncing his name. Uh, Scan... Dorito, 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 hey there you go, Scan Dorito, oh we got a new leader, Jared Darling to the front, look at the power put on by Jared Darling, uh, Jared's helped me in the booth a time or two, well, I guess once, twice, twice maybe, hey he's really good in the booth, I like Jared, Oh, close call right there. The 78 bouncing around a little bit. Uh, Brendan Bogo, uh, he goes a high, low, back and forth. You don't want to be doing that saw too much here. Coming to three to go this time by Zach Nichols with about a half a fender lead over Jared Darling. Three to go, folks. Three laps to go. Will we see another caution? Will it stay green? Who's going to win it? Anybody got a favorite to win? Oh yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. We're broadcasting every race this season. Yes, sir. Yep. We're right here on Max B TV. Already been taken care of through Eric. That's who I was looking for. I, I haven't seen Eric out here. Where the heck is he? I'm not even, oh, there he is. He's way back at 33rd place a lap down. How the heck did that happen? Eric, we need to talk. <laughs> you got to stop that. All right, Jared Darling. Getting a good push here from Jim Ott. He drops it down in front of Zach Nichols. And we got a caution. That's going to end the race, folks. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Going around, we got... We got several drivers involved here. Roger Murth again. Oh, man. Let's go back and see what happened. Oh, that's upsetting. I hate that for him. These guys, they really were running so well. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, that will end the race. They're going to come around and get the white flag here. Now, these guys are kind of getting a little dicey up here. Ah, it was a bumper hook. Yep, bumper hook, and Roger Merck just got caught up in it. Oh, man. It was a Darren uh, Scandorado. 
that uh, got turned. Dang, I hate it for him. Yep. All right, well, back up front here. Let's get back up to the front here because they're coming around right here pretty quick to get the white flag. This is the final lap, excuse me. Hmm. And I'm not sure who that was was going to be. What happened to Jared Darling? Well, there he is. What the heck was he doing clear back there? I think he is the leader, I, I do believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, uh, Jared Darling should be the leader. Yeah, he should take the, the checkered flag right here, so. Well, it's been a good race, I can say that, man. It was an awesome, awesome time here tonight. I really enjoyed myself. And uh, to see these guys run as good as they did, but bringing it home with the win here tonight, Jared Darling. We will get a word in with them here in just a couple of minutes, folks. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with all our uh, top three in the booth. All right, we caught up with our winner here, Jared Darling. Congrats, Jared. Tell me about the racing out there, and how did you come from back in the field? I mean, it, the first part of the race, you know, you, you kind of did your thing there. You stayed way back, stay out of it, and you got yourself up to the front. How'd you do it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was just really surviving and trying to stay out of trouble, stay out of the wrecks. These cars, the, uh, the V car. Um, wait, hold on. I need to mute this chat. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um, no, I um, just it had to try to just stay out of trouble. That with these cars, you can't really push in the corners at all, or you're turning somebody. I mean, it's really sketchy. So it was really about just kind of racing, you know, like on edge, kind of. It was kind of nerve wracking in the middle of the pack sometimes because people were just kind of swerving a lot, and and you had to be really careful not to push. So I just kind of took my time and used a little bit of strategy to get a little bit of track position it was really hard to go through the field because everyone was kind of racing so like calm it was a really good race actually mm -hmm. it's just um you know everyone was on edge kind of with the pushing i feel like well you know you only led one lap tonight and it, the only one that mattered really was the last one that's the way to do it right yeah. that makes it exciting right <laughs> that's, that's exactly right <laughs> well you said you got turned there at the end was somebody just kind of congratulating you or what, what do you think happened or you know don't well, matter. the caution came out. I don't really know. The caution came out, and um, I don't know whoever was behind me just kind of hooked me. I mean, you know, the yellow was out, so I was, you know, not full throttle, and just kind of got turned, and oh, okay. I was like, I better not lose the win because of that, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I guess not. So, um, yeah, I mean, me and uh, Spencer Owens, my teammate, we just worked together all race and yep. tried to get through the field, and uh, that last restart, we kind of weren't together in the line. And I went up the middle, you know, some of the guys at the end of the race, if you slide up and leave that middle open, I'm going to take it. And yep. uh, I had to, and uh, it worked out and it got to the outside line. Leading the outside line is key uh, at the play tracks. So you can, and then, and uh, luckily that caution came out and it was just timed right and got the win. Pretty cool. Well, now, I was talking to a driver earlier in the race here when, uh, under caution, I interviewed somebody and they said that uh, they felt like, in the pack there that the car felt lighter in the back and it felt kind of loose Did, were you experiencing that any of that tonight it wasn't necessarily loose i felt like the steering was just really twitchy like i okay. don't know if with uh at all the updates the last day yeah. i feel like these cars turn so easy now i mean definitely way easier than i can remember hmm. i mean i'd go into the corner i mean just barely touching the wheel and it would, it would turn like a little bit too much 
So I had to make some adjustments to make that a little bit better. But I, I definitely think there were some changes with the steering with these cars for sure. Well, overall, you think you think the racing was pretty good out there then tonight, huh? Oh, absolutely. I mean, for what for these cars and how the bumper hook is with these things, I thought it was a really good, really good race actually. Um, I mean, there was a lot of guys, a lot of clean racing, a lot of respect. You know, I this is my first race ever in this league. I don't really know a lot of people in here at all. I just uh, saw this league, was looking for some drivers, and Spencer let me know about it, and uh, we came in here to race, see what it was like, and I had a lot of fun tonight. So I d- I'll definitely be back and keep racing. Oh, heck yeah, man. Well, I think they go to Auto Club next week, so I, I'm not 100% positive on that, but I think that's where they go to next week. So what do you think about that going from two and a half mile down to two mile? Yeah, Auto Club, uh, for me, is a really good track. I, I love that track. It's very wide, which is, you know, mm-hmm. a ni- nice to make, you know, there'll be a lot of three, four, five wide racing, and <laughs> yeah. there it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of, you know, really bumpy, and um, so it's a good track. I like it. I- I'm excited for that. All right. Well, who you got to thank for your win tonight, Jared? Yeah, just uh, you for broadcasting. And um, again, I- I'm new to this league. I'm not really sure who all the admins are, but thanks to you guys for putting this thing on. And we had a full field tonight, so obviously uh, you probably something to be proud of. And uh, everybody in chat watching. And big shout out to Spencer Owens, my teammate. We worked together all race, and we both got top five. So that's that's awesome. And yes, uh, Josh Robbins, shout out to him for spotting me tonight as well. Yeah, and very cool. We'll, we'll see you. We'll see you next time, Rudy. All right, Jared. Thanks for talking with us. Congrats on that win. We'll see you next week. Thank you. All right. uh, Let's get uh, caught up here to second place. Uh, Jim Ott. Uh, I've got to drag him up here. I think he was having some mic issues or something there, but let me see if it's any better. Jim Ott, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Well, Jim, tell me about the racing out there tonight. You pulled out a second place there, brother. Yeah, the racing was uh, pretty intense. Um... Didn't have a whole lot of people to work with tonight, but uh, I, I knew that was kind of expected. No teammates out here, but uh, qualified well, won to hold uh, track position. So uh, did a pretty good job with that. Um, I was right where I needed to be at the end for sure, uh, especially when the 90 dropped down to that low line. Um, if that caution would have come out, we definitely would have had something for him. But uh, great race and uh, happy with the second place. Oh, heck yeah. Now, I- what was your feelings on the race out there? Would you would you having any problems? Anybody giving you any problems racing? You know, around them and giving you lots of respect. Um, yeah, no issues with anybody in particular. Um, you know, just close Daytona racing as expected. Um, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the side draft was pretty crazy. Um, felt the car. It, it kind of, uh, especially on the high line for whatever reason that uh, it, it got pretty slippery, but. Um, especially when the tires well wore off, but um, you had to be up there because there's nowhere, nothing to do on the low line. Needed that that high middle line to do something, and um, you know, got there. And like I said, just uh, just a little too short. Yeah. Well, uh, what did you think there when, when the caution came out? Were you, I, I'm sure you probably hated that because you really would have liked to have seen it go green the rest of the way, wouldn't you? Yeah, that was the last thing I wanted to see. I mean, yeah. you know, like I said, I got the 90 up there, pushed him pretty hard. And, and in fact, I was overheating the last two laps. I was trying to cool it down uh-huh. on the back stretch. Um, and as soon as he dipped low, I mean, that that was everything I needed. Still had to run on the high line. And I saw that caution, and um, unfortunately, that was it. But yep. I'm uh, proud of the second place finish for sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, who you got to thank for your second place? Well, I appreciate the uh, the admins for putting this on and uh, you up in the booth. I'm sure it's going to be a great broadcast. Looking forward to watching it. All right. Well, we'll see you next week at Auto Club. I, I believe that's where they're going next week. So I can't wait to see what you guys do there. Yeah, 10 4 should be fun. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's catch up with Zach Nichols. Zach, you got a copy? Uh, yes. Well, Zach, you led uh, 12 laps tonight, but you didn't get to lead the last one. Probably a little bit of a disappointment, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I had my teammates behind me a lot. Uh, I was hoping that caution wouldn't come up at the end, because we might might have had something for them. Well, I know a lot of leagues dread it when they see you come into the room, because they think, oh boy, we're going to lose. And the way you were running out there tonight showed the, the, you know, the, the true experience that you have out on these tracks i mean it, it's it's pretty amazing you know i, I see you in some other leagues and stuff but uh, 
I, this this was really kind of an experience for me to see a full field here at Daytona. It's been a long time since I've seen a full field in a in a super speedway race. You know, how was it for you? I mean, I know you were up in the front, but were you concerned that if you got shuffled out of the draft that you'd lose the draft and maybe not finish well? I mean, I had a couple teammates throughout like the race. I think I had like three in there, so they were kind of. We had one in the back. Uh, I shuffled back there. I probably could have hooked up with him. Um, well, yeah. A lot of viewers don't know the the significance of having a teammate. So maybe you could kind of fill them in on uh, what what it means to have a teammate out there. Well, if you don't have a teammate, and you just gotta find someone that would rather hook up with you, if, knowing that you have a teammate back there, you can actually just that you know they're gonna hook up with you. So right, run to the front with like that. Yeah, it means a lot. And pitting, you know, pit together and come out together so you have somebody to draft with. Because you're, you're like about, what, 10 to 15 mile an hour slower than the draft, you know? Yeah. So it means a lot. Well, cool temperatures out there tonight. 65 degree track temperature, 65 degree air temperature, pretty cool. Did that give the cars a lot of grip on the track? I mostly tried staying on the inside just because I heard the outside was a little loose. But the inside was really grippy, and I didn't take tires throughout that whole race. And they oh, wow. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Wow. All right, well, who you got to thank for your third place? Uh, I'd like to thank the broadcast for broadcasting the race. Um, uh, my teammates for helping get to the front, and uh, uh, people that put on the league. All right, Zach. Well, we'll see you next week at Auto Club. Good to see you, and uh, good to see what you can do. You can't wait to see what you can do, I should say, at Auto Club next week. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, folks. We're going to run down through the uh, final results here, uh, and we'll get the heck out of here. But uh, give me a second here to get everything pulled up. All right, Jared Darling coming home with the win. Jim Ott finishing in uh, second. Zach Nichols third. Spencer Owens fourth. Uh, John Furness coming from way back in the field. Gosh, he was way back there. He finished in uh, uh, fifth place. Uh, Matt Kemp sixth. Uh, Michael Laguari, I think it is Laguari. Uh, he finishes seventh. David Anderson eighth. Brady Briggs ninth. Wayne Carroll finishes in the top 10. Uh, Brandon Bogo, 11th. Luke LaFaro, 12th. Jerry Walters, 13th. Uh, David Carmen, 14th. Jordan Smith, 15th. Robert Duvendak, 16th. Michael Smith, 17th. Jim Walton, 18th. Jared uh, Hagedorn in 19th. Joshua uh, Shulin finishes in the top 20. Uh, let's see here. We got uh, Evan Black. I got to find him on the list here. Sorry. Evan Black in 21st. Dan Dill, 22nd. Tyler Dugan, uh, 23rd. Brandon Dorsett, 25th, or 24th, excuse me. Corey Silva, way back in 25th. Uh, Darren Scandorito, <laughs> Scandorito, I think it is. Uh, 26th, Jamie... Uh, Leach, 27th, Roger Murth, 28th, Anthony Reynolds, 29th, uh, Mick, Mikey Reed, Mickey Reed, excuse me, 30th, uh, Jeff Pogo, 31st, Bobby Johnson, 32nd, Eric Hawley, 33rd, Craig Hawkins, 34th, Jason, Jason Lung, Young in 35th, uh, Stephen Holmes, 36th, Skip Carmen, 37th, Carl Shedd, Finishes 38th, Doug Ungari 39th, Corey Le Leavitt will be uh, 40th, uh, Jeffrey Price 41st, um, Mur Muroslav uh, Mock in the 42nd, and John Clemens rounding out the field. Clements, excuse me, in uh, 40 43rd, supposed to be. So anyhow, congratulations to our winner here, folks. Uh, sorry about all the names. i got to get used to them. Got to give me a week or two to get used to everybody's name. But thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate that very much. And uh, congrats here to Jared Darling for the first race of the season here for the USRA. Thanks to the sponsor. Uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, we do throw that out there, too. Uh, the sponsor for tonight's race, uh, AIM Recycling. 
uh, e-cycling, excuse me, uh, for all your electronic recycling and e-waste needs, uh, check out their website at aimecycling.com. All right, well, thanks for watching tonight, folks. We appreciate it. Until next time, stay safe and have a good night. MaxB TV would like to thank our partners here at MaxB TV, uh, starting with the Colby Eye Paints. If you're in the market for a new paint job for your car, uh, check out Colby's Eye Paints on Facebook. Need a replica paint of your real life car? Colby's Eye Paints has you covered. Check out Colby Eye Paints on Facebook. Also by Hershey Design. Hershey Design Company is your one stop graphic shop. If you're in need of an eye racing paint league team, or business logo, or want the logo on some sweet swag, hit up Orion at the Hershey Design Company. You can find them on Facebook by searching H-E-R-S-H-Y Design Company. Also, buy the Sim Speed Shop, simspeedshop.com. You can check them out for all your iRacing Sim needs. Ohio IndyCar League jumping on board this season with a, as an official sponsor of Max B TV. Uh, they are uh, also accepting not just patrons from Ohio, but from all over. Also, iBog for your, all your uh, iRacing broadcast overlay graphics done uh, specifically by Jason Allison, uh, one of the masters at it. So thank you to Jason. And also, last but not least, Wise Guys. You can check them out at Reverb Nation. That is spelt with a Z. So check them out on Reverb Nation. We would like to thank all of the sponsors at Max B TV and partners. Yeah.